Yo, what up guys and welcome to EVE Online. Now today we are going to start up the uh, next career agent. And uh, if we go to the agency here, our next one on the list is the industrialist producer. So if we click on him and we're going to start up a conversation and we're going to accept this. So I already did accept it. So we're good to go there. But the objective here is going to go to the Astro to an asteroid field and uh, we got to mine a thousand units of Veldspar. So granted, it did give us a mining laser one, which we, uh, if you go into your fitting window here, we did install that. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to the asteroid belt and we're going to start mining. So we're going to minimize him since we already accepted that mission. Uh, we can close the agency tab for now. And uh, let's undock and let's go check it out really quick. See what we got. And I would imagine pretty soon we'll, we will upgrade a, to a better mining ship, of course, which will probably be the venture. This is a little venture that came out <laughs> just so happened. All right, so let's warp to location. Warp drive active. All right, let's check this out. So if we go into our mining tab here, we got, of course, just one. So we're going to go hit orbit at 500 there. And what's our laser range at? So we're at 10 km is our optimal. So we can start, go ahead and uh, start mining from now. So let's hit that and uh, nice. I love the, the new animations for the mining. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna mine a thousand units of this and uh, we'll bring it right back guys. This is all we're gonna do is just orbit this and uh, we'll get up to a thousand units of it and we'll be done. All right, we'll bring it right back, guys. All right, guys, so we got our first cycle in and uh, we're already at 482, which is not too bad. I, maybe our next cycle we get kind of closer, but we did this window did pop up saying do uh, good job and uh, we're almost there. It's just not too bad. It's not taking long. I bet this. Uh, this asteroid just probably has exactly a thousand minerals in it, and that's it. Ah, there we go. We got nine, six, four. So yeah, I would imagine that the rest of this is just the the last bit, little bit of it. So I'm gonna let this actually do maybe about halfway, and then I'm gonna cancel it because that should do the rest of the uh, asteroid belt. And that should get us up to a thousand. So we're halfway. We're going to cancel it. There it is. We're more than a thousand. So now we're going to go and dock up. I guess I was wrong. It does have more than a thousand. I thought it would have uh, just exactly a thousand, but I was wrong. <laughs> All right. Now we're going back to the station and turn this mission in. We got our first thousand uh, builds bar. And our car will hold, that's ex practically almost exactly what it holds, and that's it. Practically hit the limit there. All right, let's bring up the uh, agent window here. All right, and we get ISK, and then, uh, yeah, let's complete it. Sweet. Now let's uh, check out the uh, next one. Let's see what we got on the second mission here. Ah, they give us a venture finally. Perfect. They didn't give us anything specific, so we're going to accept this. Okay, so now with the minerals or that raw ore that we got, we're going to double click our ship here to open up the uh, inventory here. 
We'll bring this up top. All right, so this, we're going to drop it off inside the uh, hangar here. So what we're going to do is uh, reprocess this raw ore. And it's going to give us 400. So let's process it. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's complete. All right, we're going to request the next one here. All right, we get a blueprint for the next one. Nice. All right, but for first, first of all, since we got a brand new ship and we got an actual mining ship here, guys. And the Venture. That way we can get rid of the, uh, the Ibis here. Let's jump in there. Let's rename the ship. Yeah, remember guys, always rename the ship. Or let's call it Miner 1. Miner 1. Perfect. Now, one for one sec, so we're going to go back into the Ibis. We're going to go into the fitting window here. And we're going to take everything off of this. This ship, since we're not using it anymore. We're not going to use this ship anymore. We can get rid of it. You know? Because now we got the Merlin for combat. And we got the Venture for the mining part. And that's pretty much all we need for now. So, this one can go away. So once you jump back into your venture, this little Ibis here, trash it, gone, there we go. Perfect, and now we're in our little venture here. Let's go back into the fitting window, and we're going to fit all that stuff up. So we're going to fit the miner back on there, and then mining laser upgrade. Put that back on there. And now, this ship's going to be way better than, than that Ibis. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's it. We can put the micro warp drive on there. But, I don't think we would need it right now. Huh. I'm wondering if I should put... Let's find out. Let's see. So, this one's probably faster than the Merlin. Let's go with the Merlin really quick. Let's get in there. Oh, no. The Merlin, of course. But let's take off the afterburner from the Merlin. And we're going to install this micro warp drive on there. Now, if we simulate... Wow. Okay, so... This has jumped up pretty good. So we're going to do 2,600 meters per second. So that's pretty quick. I mean, there's a lot quicker ships for sure, but that is pretty quick. All right. So we'll jump back into the uh, venture here. And we're going to install this afterburner on here. Simulate. We're at seven something. That's that's fine. All right. So now that we got an actual dedicated miner, we can get out of there and we go back to the uh, career agent window. All right. So it's going to grant us a blueprint here. 2X1MN civilian afterburner. The following item will be granted to you. Okay. So we just need a. So we already got one here. So what? We would have to do another one. All right. So what we got? Two runs, copies, materials, level five, times efficiency two. Okay. So that's the stats that it has. So each uh, blueprint is gonna have different stats of how good the. Uh... So if we go in here. So, uh, the original blueprints, 
copies you can't but original blueprints you'll be able to uh, upgrade them that way they are better in uh, time efficiency and material efficiency that just means the time would be reduced that you can use this blueprint so for example if you're manufacturing this it would reduce the time of manufacturing and the material of course efficiency it's pretty much says it in the name is uh, the materials that are used to make this uh, item so it would be less all right guys so now what we're gonna do so we got to produce one of these because I think we already got one unless it wants us to do we'll do two just in case we'll do two just in case so what we're gonna do is here in the on the right side on the tabs we're gonna go into the industry tab here we're gonna open this up all right so blueprints we're gonna left click it once so what does it need so we're gonna need a little bit more titanium because we're gonna need 128 titanium we got 64 so we're gonna need a little bit more now there's two ways of doing this you can either go back out and go mining get a little bit more of the uh, Veldspar or you can buy it off the market so I would highly suggest that way we save up on some money we're gonna go out and we're gonna mine a little bit maybe two or three cycles so let's go ahead and go do that let's undock now that we got our mining ship here we gotta put in the work guys let's put in that work okay so now that we're out here and we gotta find uh, an asteroid belt somewhere to go mining so the best way to do that anywhere out in space anywhere there's nothing you can right click out in space you should get this window now what you're gonna do is asteroid belts and you can pick one of these any of these it's fine it might be different on your if depending if you're in the same system that I am or but it, it's gonna be the same thing you go to asteroid belts and then you pick any of those warp to zero but let's go ahead and warp to zero on one of them fix this here and we're gonna do probably one or two cycles of mining with our mining laser our new mining laser here now it looks like there's we got some people out here mining oh geez all right let's pick a spot over on this side that way we don't uh, bother these guys over here turn on our afterburner here we'll get there a little bit quicker so what's the range on this one this one's 10 so we're practically already there so we're gonna lock up our this asteroid and dense Veldspar maybe one cycle might even do so we're gonna stop here now we're, we're in within 10 km so we're gonna start shoot we're gonna start mining here let's orbit at 500 it'll be fine we don't need to have our afterburner we can just as long as we're moving and we'll do one cycle I think with that we should have enough to uh, reprocess it and then have enough materials to start the manufacturing job All right, so we're almost there through finished through the cycle here there. And we're gonna stop it once it's uh, hits the uh, complete All right, and we go into our mining hold here and we got a thousand All right, so now what we're gonna do is if you don't know which uh, station it's the only station it should be the only station in the uh, the system here so if you go to travel it should be here 
or if you ever don't know if there's a lot of stations, don't know which one, you can always go into your personal assets and they will be in there because if you have stuff in the, in the station, it'll bring up your assets in there. But what you can do is always right click it, set destination, or if you're in the same system, dock up. It'll show up dock up up here. Just in case. All right, now with this little venture, Docking permission requested. it makes mining a whole lot easier. On the IBIS, I think it was like two Docking or three cycles before we even got to a thousand Veldspar. On this one, we're already, pro with one cycle, we got up to a thousand. Which is damn good. All right, so mining hold. We're going to transfer that into our inventory, our hangar. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to let's close this up really quick. So we're going to right click it, reprocess. And we're going to get 2000. What is that? 2300 or 200? Little tiny text. All right. And then we got that there. We can close that up. All right. Now back to business. We can go into the industry tab up here. Click this once. And now it used to be red. Now we have enough. And we're going to do two, uh, run two jobs. And let's see. So now if you have, as long as you have enough isk, which is you should 12 isk. <laughs> it's not bad. Let's hit start. And that should run. And so it's going to take eight minutes. About eight minutes and 30 seconds, more or less. So we're going to let that run. And then we'll bring it right back once it's done and we'll continue. All right, guys, and we are back. So we got back just in time. We got this all finished up. All right, so jobs, we're going to go into the jobs category and we're going to hit deliver on both of these. So we're going to deliver and that's going to put it into our inventory here. So we're going to close that up. And then with that, we can close this up. So with that, it should, it should be done. The UI didn't update, but let's complete mission. And there it is. We got that completed. So we got the we got the um, reward here, which is the expanded cargo hold. That's to expand our cargo hold, and we can carry more stuff. But let's create let's uh, request the next mission here. All right, what do we got here? Oh, nice! We get as a reward another mining laser, which is perfect. So we need 7,000 Tritanium. 7,000. So let's, uh, we won't have enough. We might have to go mining. I'm pretty sure we can't reprocess this because, uh, yeah, we don't have enough in the stack. You need to have a certain amount in the stack. So we got 2,000. So what we're going to do is uh, accept this mission. All right, so let's see. Yeah, so it's showing that it's saying that your cargo hold might not be large enough, but that's fine. This is either way you can hit yes on that. And now what we're going to do is go mining, do a little bit more mining. So we're going to minimize that. We're going to undock. All right, once we undock, we're going to do the same thing as last time. We're going to right click out in space and go to an asteroid belt here. So we're going to right click out in space, asteroid belt. Let's do one. Let's go to zero on that. So this one's a different location. Last location we went to, there was uh, two miners in there. So we'll try and go to one that doesn't have uh, anybody in there. But it's not a guaranteed. Yeah, we got some miners here on this one. 
I think I got a couple of them. We'll go to this one over here. We'll go kind of further away from. So let's approach that. Turn on our afterburner. We'll get there a little bit quicker. We're going to hit control on our keyboard and then left click on this. So we need to get a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, once we're there, we're going to switch over to our mining tab here. That way we can we're gonna turn on our afterburner, turn them off. We're going to stop our ship and we're going to start mining. All right. Then with that, we're going to do a couple cycles on this one. So we're going to need 7,000 tritanium here. So you got, we're about to finish the third one. All right, so we'll stop it there. I think this should be enough. Now, if I'm wrong, we'll have to come back out. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully we have enough. All right, so let's, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, warp out and go back to the station now. Little Venture is an awesome ship. It's a little, it's an awesome mining little ship, especially for beginners. I wish when, when, when I first started playing this game, I wish we had this. I remember back in the day, we used to go out mining in, in Vexers. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. All right, so back to this. Um... So we'll go into our mining hole here. <laughs> Still laughing just because it's it's pretty funny uh, just thinking about it. All right, so we'll stack. So this one we're going to reprocess. 6,400. Good. That's good. So stack it. Now we have, along with what we had from last time, now we have uh, 8,500, so that should be enough because we only needed 7,000. We have an objective here. We got we got the 7,000 Tritanium, but we got to go destroy a rogue drone, which is, uh, eh. So what we're going to do here, we're going to jump into our uh, Merlin. This might be a little bit easier. You actually go in with the combat ship. So let's undock. And let's just go kill the rogue drone and then come back. Since we already got the tritanium, we can skip all of that. Usually, you might, you might want to do it the way that they say, but that's fine. There's different ways of doing it. Some missions. So let's go ahead and go up in here and let's check it out. Let's see. Let's switch over to our PVE tab here. Let's lock these both of these guys up. shoot them with everything we got let's orbit at 500 for for this one we'll web him up that way he's not too fast there we go all right now that we got those rogue drones destroyed it would have us here mine this asteroid bell here so we'll go back to station here so let's uh Right click and dock. Drive we'll minimize that. We'll go back to station. All right, guys. So we're back into station. We got the, that objective done. We'll go switch back into our miner. Oh, did it too quick. All right, we'll switch back into our miner. And then we got all the objectives done here. So let's uh, go into our inventory here, our items. 
and they're gonna grant us another mining laser so let's complete that you got another one sweet I'm gonna fit that up right away I'm gonna put that in there now we got two mining lasers perfect get X out of that and then we're gonna that was the four out of ten now let's do the five out of ten let's see what we got for this next one here now we got a drop-off location Tramp, transport these goods so it's gonna have us transport the cargo let's see a crate of electronic parts okay so we're gonna pick it up here so once we hit accept this should give us the uh, items here yeah there we go and granted it did give us uh, an item there so what we'll do is we'll bring this up here double click our ship and uh, now that we're in the uh, cargo hold here we're gonna transport this over all right now that since we have that we got to travel let's see how far away it is so we're gonna on the drop-off location right click it and set destination so we got seven jumps to go so we're gonna go do those seven jumps so let's close this up and we'll minimize this wait just to double check okay all right just double checking all right let's undock all right we're gonna switch to our travel tab and we're gonna do the same we've done this before so we have our destination set and uh, we're gonna go jump and do all those uh those seven jumps out and drop this uh electronic parts off I say so same thing as uh, last time we did this was I think it was mission 10 out of 10 for the enforcer one we had to I think it was five jumps away if I remember correctly so we're gonna do the same thing and uh, we'll bring it right back once we get there guys all right guys so we made it to the system here so now what we're gonna do is uh let's get to the station and let's drop this this uh, electronic parts off it didn't take long at all it's like two minutes probably little ventures pretty quick to travel so with the little venture we uh we're gonna be mining pretty good now if we have to do any more mining it'll go pretty quick now All right, so let's open up the uh, agent window here. So now that we got all check marks here, uh, let's complete. All right, and that this the rewards if it gives you anything it should be back at the home system where you started the mission from it's not like they're gonna give it to you here or anything all right so our, now what we'll do is uh pick up location where we pick where we started from set destination and we're gonna do the same thing <laughs> just go right back <laughs> this is the always the fun part about this is just to drop something off and then get the hell out <laughs> so we're gonna do that really quick guys we're gonna travel back to home system let's go ahead and travel back and uh, that should complete this mission which we already did but we'll pick up the next mission from there okay let's go travel to the gate here 
And then the same thing, guys, we'll bring it right back. All right, so we're back into the home system here. Let's go ahead and warp to the station now that we're in uh system here. And I think we were, uh, let's see. Yeah, so next one is going to be the 6 out of 10. So we're already halfway through here, this, guys. Docking which is perfect. So it looks like it might be another blueprint that we have to uh, manufacture. I have to, to kind of look at it right away. We'll look at that on the next episode, guys. So we're going to leave it here for this episode. We are halfway through the uh, industrialist uh, career agent. So on the next one, uh, hopefully we can finish it up. Uh, depending on uh, what kind of uh, jobs they're going to give us. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode, guys. Fly safe. And uh, peace out.